let's talk about Doom. Alright, so today I'm talking about Doom, which is not something I'd ever think I'd do on this channel because it's really not a modern topic. It's some it's a game that's quite old now, I don't know the exact date, but it is considered by many to be the best game ever made, and it's considered by even more people to be one of the best games ever made. So I'm here today to talk about just Doom in general, really, and uh the state of modern shooters today, so not going to be a, a comedy filled video, but still. So, as you can see, um, I started off this game and I wasn't greeted by a ridiculously long cutscene, which may seem weird to um, anyone who hasn't played Doom in the first place, but yeah, I, I selected my difficulty and then I was playing. Uh, I was already on uh, hundred percent health, but then I picked up some health and I got even more health than a hundred. That's so weird to people these days if you think back on it, because games don't do that. They have long cutscenes that I got attacked within something like seven seconds. That just doesn't happen anymore in in any game, really. So uh, here you can see me uh, saving my game. So. Um, the mods that I'm using here are, because uh, I'm not playing the original Doom, I'll talk about why in a minute. Um, there's Brutal Doom, uh, there's a high resolution texture um, mod, and there's a music mod which modifies the music to make it a bit more modern. So all of these, all of these mods have a theme in common, which is that they're changing things about the game, but they're not really changing them, if you know what I mean, they're just updating them. So, uh, the music one, obviously, it gets the old tracks, which are, you know, they, they don't withhold today to be, you know, face melting or anything, they're not, you wouldn't listen to them on your iPod uh, and in their normal standard, but then, you know, there's proper heavy metal bands playing these, um, these the the original Doom songs and it sounds great. It sounds great to kill people with these this this music in the background. And then there's the textures mod, which just ups some of the textures. Again, something that as times have increased, we've been able to do better textures and had more memory and stuff like that in games, which means that we can you know add more to the games, which we've done here. Um, and that has really just increased the looks of the game, it just increased the experience in general. And then, there's the real meat of the mods, which is Brutal Doom. Which is honestly, and I'm, you may think I'm exaggerating, but I think I would call it one of the best mods of all time. I will explain why now, because it may seem a bit weird for me to be saying that, but... Uh, Doom came out not, uh, you know, 1990s, before that, and it was, at the time, it was like if, it was like, it was so good, it was, uh, I wasn't around then, um, so, but I still grew up playing Doom, because I was still, because uh, my um, parents, they recognised that Doom was, you know, a classic and everything, and even though my parents weren't really much of gamers, they still let me play the classics to get me into the games instead of just giving me on modern games. It was a good approach. But here's Doom, and even for me, it gives me nostalgia playing it. And it came out before I was born. Which, it's weird. It's a weird thing. So, even when I was playing it, it was outdated. But not to me, because there was no such thing as outdated. But as you can see here, I am just rushing around killing people. Uh, get, sorry, I'm, I'm rushing around getting killed. And 
I, I'm getting, I'm actually getting slaughtered. I'm, I'm trying again and again and again. It's, it, it, look, I just died again. It's really a difficult game, but I am having the time of my life playing this game. It's, it's, and I'm not looking at this through nostalgia goggles like some people may say. It's so good. Just, it's amazing how you can get games like Doom, which. No, you know, you buy them on Steam for a little nostalgia trip because you're not going to. Uh, it's difficult to explain, but they they just they do feel clunky these days. Even though the level design still holds up to be better than some some of the stuff that came out in the last ten years, it's ridiculous the, the level design, and um, it just holds up. Uh, I wouldn't say badly. It's just, it holds up differently to what we know as gamers today. So, when people mod this game, like they have with Brutal Doom and all these other mods, and make, and, uh, you know, touch it up, make it a little easier on the eye, make it a little easier to play, because they added mouse aim and things like that, uh, it, you realise that this game is still phenomenal. It's still one of the best games ever made. Because you just add all of this this uh, shine to it, which it had when it was re released, but sort of it's got a bit rusty over the uh, years. And suddenly, this game is as fun as it ever was. It's kind of mind blowing that some fa one guy did the Brutal Doom mod, which is just he. This one guy has restored. Um restored this game so that it is seriously a game, a, an amazing game by today's standards. And this is one guy, he's just touched it up. And that shows how good Doom is. That shows why Doom is one of the best games ever made, in my opinion. Because the level design, the monsters, as you can see um, at the end of the first level, uh, you open the door and the monster jumps out at you. That, not just as a jump scare there, because, you know, it's not much of a jump scare, but not just as it a jump scare, it's also just something quite difficult at the start of the game to deal with a little. So, you... Games don't do that. Games dip you, dip you in at the shallow end and slowly you to the deep end. And I, this is the second stage here, and I'm dying loads. I'm awful at the game, granted, but, you know, I, I'm still dying loads, and... In a modern game, I would not be dying this much. That's because I'm playing medium difficulty, and I'm having the time of my life. Honestly, just splattering blood all over the walls because of this the features this mod adds. And that is why I believe that Doom uh, is one of the best games ever made. And it still is. It holds up to this day. Uh, you can just get it, and as they said for the original Doom, rip and tear. You... people tear apart when you shoot them and blood splatters against the walls. Something more ludicrous than you see in most games today. It's just... And I, lo I know a lot of people will argue that oh well you're just seeing it through nostalgia. Honestly, let's just say this game came out today and I, I don't really do any reviews at the moment on this channel. I don't, um, you know, sit down and review recent games. But if this game came out today, it would be such a shock to have a game where I'm not just doing quick time events and doing something slightly different to the other uh, shooters, uh, but still, they, they can't just add something in and then suddenly go, oh, it's revolutionary, it's revolutionary. No, Doom was revolutionary. <sighs> John Carmack uh, is a genius, and so are everyone else at uh, id Software. I know I ranted this one, and I've, I have definitely not hit all the points that I wanted to hit, because I can't remember them all, but it's free if you own the original Doom, and I'm sure you do. It's, uh, the first level is, the first, few, uh, chapter, sorry, is shareware. So you can get the first chapter for free. You can play Brutal Doom for free right now. Um, 
you can look elsewhere for that. It's a very simple installation. You just drag the WADs into this folder. Honestly, you've got no excuse not to try it because you can really see how gaming is so repetitive these days and how it just... It's, it's, it's mind-blowing looking back and seeing how how little gaming has come uh, since Doom. It's crawled. It's, it hasn't broken any new grounds, really, or hardly any. And so that's what I'm saying. I want more games like Doom, and I am going to go right now and die loads. Sorry if this video is really opinion-y or cringy and stuff like that. It's just, I fucking love Doom. Shut up. Goodbye.